Hey everyone, Brendan Snyder here. How are you? It is that time for Record Store Day run through again here. April 22nd is our next Record Store Day. I know we're a little early here in February, but they just dropped the list of stuff that is coming out. I'm really excited to run through this one here with you guys. So we're going to do that here. If you're new to my channel, though, please click the subscribe button, leave comment, all that cool stuff. Turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on things like this where I'm going to be running through this. On a side note, I also do an album release schedule for the month ahead, and I release it the last week of every month for the month ahead. So to get updates on these albums being released here for Record Store Day or just in general, you can tune into that as well. But let's dive into this. I only briefly went through it, so I'm kind of going through this uh, with you here. So let's see, I'm not gonna hit everything. There's just too much stuff, but I'm gonna focus on the stuff that I think you guys would most enjoy. On here, we got uh, something from the 1975 Live at the BBC with Philharmonic Orchestra. I'll try and uh, hold up the iPad there so that you can actually see these albums. Uh, quantity limited to 2,000. It is an exclusive. When it's a record store day exclusive, it means it's supposed to not get a release in any other way. There's record store day first, and we're gonna I'm gonna try to point the differences out. So when there is a first, it just means that Record Store Day gets it first, but it will get a wider release later. So if you don't get it, those are the ones that like, if you can't get, don't worry about. Don't go spending lots of money on eBay to, to get those things, because if you just wait, they will get wider releases. And I love uh, finding those, and I don't uh, worry about them or focus on them. So uh, yeah, a couple things, three things in here from the 1975. Um, well, actually, it's all the same thing I'm seeing here. It's CD, LP, and cassette. So pretty cool. For those of you that are into any of those formats, you can get it. Uh, let's see. Um, we got Agnostic Front, uh, United Blood. Uh, this one here is an exclusive. Um, this was originally recorded in 83. It's uh, the United Blood EP that's coming out. Um, or it said it laid the foundation for it. This is the extended session 12-inch um, version of it here so but uh, this thing's got 18 tracks so I'm not entirely sure what all that means when it's uh, EP but then they're saying that it's um, you know this so maybe it is uh, oh I see this is uh, United Blood the LP although the EP version of this is what they had released so that's kind of cool this is the extended session so um, as I said I'm reading this with you for the first time so this is uh, still new to me something on here from the Almond Brothers uh, live at Sierra Mosque to LP it says it's a record store day first but the CD edition of that's already out so you can go grab that if you want um, let's get down to some other stuff. There's some Chet Baker in here. That's not really uh, my cup of tea, but the first one in here that is uh, something I'm super excited about, Baker Gervitz Army. Uh, the debut album that they did, uh, Ginger Baker from Cream, Adrian Gervitz from Gun, Three Man Army, uh, formed this up here. Uh, this was their first studio album, features their signature song, Mad Jack, on it. Um, but it is an exclusive limited to 1500 on LP. Uh, they recently had put a um, box set version of this out on CD. So if you're a CD fanatic like me, you can get it that way. Um, Bjork has some stuff in here. Frank Black, The Black Keys has a live album. Um, let's keep going on down. And there's some other really cool stuff in here. Blur. Uh, this is uh, Blur Presents Special Collector's Edition. That's kind of an interesting thing right here, a two LP set, limited to 10,000. When something's limited to 10,000, it doesn't really feel limited anymore because albums don't sell that much. Blur presents the special collector's edition. Uh, it's gonna be released on vinyl for the first time. It was originally released in 1994 as a Japan only CD. So it's getting an LP release for the first time here. If you're a fan of Blur. Um, let's see, we got some canned heat vintage there you go and this one here is an lp limited to 3000 record store day exclusive um this is the 1970s uh psychedelic blues their sixth studio album getting a release here so that's kind of the other thing a lot that i notice on here is just reissue of stuff that um you know has already been available kind of stuff and then to me that doesn't make 
record store gate as great as it once was when all the stuff that was coming out was exclusive never having been released uh, vinyl cd etc but uh, here's something that's been available on cd but it's getting a facelift eric carr former drummer of kiss unfortunately he's former because he passed away rockology so rockology came out in the mid to late 90s Bruce Kulick, also a former member of KISS, guitar player, and he and Eric Carr were good friends and in the band at the same time. And Bruce Kulick went in and finished off a bunch of demos that Eric Carr had put together that were either proposed songs for KISS or things that he was doing for a TV show at the time and some other stuff. And uh, that came out, and it's a really, really good album, actually. Uh, but now they've made it look like... Uh, the Kiss solo album. So even though I already own this, I'm going to be picking this up. This is the 2LP edition of it, but there is a CD edition of it. Let's just click on that one real quick. Um, it's only, The CD is only limited to 500 copies, uh, limited run, and it's regional. Uh, my guess is we're going to be getting it here in the U.S., but I think that's what it means sometimes when it says regional. It's not going to be hitting all the different territories and stuff like that. Uh, Alex Chilton, uh, this is live in Anvers. There we go. Um, it's a Record Store Day exclusive. It is the last album Alex Chilton released under his own name during his lifetime. Getting an LP release here. So it's got the song In the Street that everybody knows and loves. So always a reason there to get it. I think that's it for this first page. we got six pages to go through. Page two, we're on to. Um... Cranberries, Wake Up and Smell the Coffee is getting an LP release. Uh, the Cure Show. Uh, it's a 2023 remaster. Again, 10,000 copies of this thing. Uh, and it is an exclusive, so it is not going to get released uh, outside of that. At least not in this format. They'll re-release it in some other format and claim it to be different. Uh, Miles Davis has Turnaround, unreleased rare vinyl from the corner. I'm not a big Miles Davis fan, but I know some of you guys are out there. So I want to try and show things that I know you guys might be looking for that even if I'm not, uh, I can get you some info on. This is pretty cool. Death, the best of death. And this one here is a record store day first. 2,800 copies on LP. It will be getting a wider release. All right. Uh, those of you that love Dio. He has Live in Fresno. I believe this has already been available on uh, CD, but we're getting the 2LP edition of it. Um, yeah, originally included as an unreleased live from Holy Diver Tour on a four CD Holy Diver box set, now getting a standalone LP release. So it is good to do your homework on these things, and I would definitely send you over to the Record Store Day website to check this list out in full when you're done here to make sure you're not going to accidentally buy something you've already got in a box set as a bonus item or something like that. Um, the Donna's early singles, 95 to 99. That's pretty cool. I dig them. Uh, it's LP 1500. And it is a record store day first, so we will be getting wider release. And what's kind of cool, too, is that sometimes when they're record store day first, when it gets the wider release, we're going to get the CD at that time. And, of course, again, as I said, I focus on the CD. Now, this is awesome. I'm going to pull this part of it up first. There is, and I get a, yes, one of those mini record players. And this one is for the doors, and it comes with three three-inch singles in here. Um, hello, I love you. Love her madly. I can't read the other one. Um, now this, it's limited to 500. Uh, they're usually pretty expensive, $100 or somewhere around that mark or 150. It's kind of crazy. So they're going to jack this thing up, but it plays three inch records. Um, so if you don't want to buy the record player or you've already got one from the past and you can incidentally you can go on amazon and buy the exact same thing without like the doors logo or whatever because they release one related to a band uh every time but if you just want the three inch record player that's the exact same one that they're putting out here i think it's 59 dollars on amazon um so i will probably do that if i don't get this one because i was trying to get one last time i didn't get it i'm hoping to get it this time um but you can buy the singles, the three inch records, by themselves. So they're also fairly limited. So they're gonna be hard to come by, 1500. But I think this is the first time they're doing that. 
um, because I've seen them other times, but they typically only come with the record players. Um, Might have been one here or there, but finally we have three from the doors, Love Her Madly, Hello I Love You, and Break On Through. Unfortunately, we, we don't have anything as cool as the last time where we had the Doors' Paris Blues, the last unreleased song from them, built around an entire album of blues songs. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, this time, nothing as cool as that, but we still get some Doors in there. Duran Duran, Carnival Rio, no picture for this thing yet, I'm not going to show it to you, uh, but I just want to show you what, what I mean here. It is a Record Store Day exclusive to 3,000 copies. Um, this uh, uh, followed the release of the Duran Duran album Rio. Uh, it had a selection of night versions and remixes uh, that were released as the Carnival EP. And this is Carnival Rio. Um, I'm just uh, reading through. It doesn't give me but, uh, much more info on this thing. Uh, 40th anniversary of the Rio LP collects together their night versions, the remixes, uh, into one collection for the first time here. But it's LP, so I may have to pick it up now that I know more about what this thing is. I actually thought this was a live album when I first scanned over it, but it's got different remixes uh, that are collected together on here. So night version remixes and the carnival remixes. Now, if you've got the uh, like super deluxe edition of Rio, I do think they're on there. So again, you may want to check out before buying an album of stuff that you may already own. So that was uh, Duran Duran. Let me just find that shot in here again. <clears throat> Interesting in here, we got John Elefante, former Kansas singer, uh, also a Christian rock artist, uh, putting out an LP, Amazing Grace. Uh, this is his latest solo album. Uh, getting a run there, so that's kind of cool. Emerson, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer Brain Solid Surgery is getting another run on LP. Uh, Flock of Seagulls, Rare Birds, Flock of Seagulls, B-Sides, Edits, and Alternate Mixes. Now, they just put out a three-CD deluxe edition of the debut album, for which I guarantee you all of this is included on it. But as an LP standalone with an alternate album cover, I do like when they do that. I just wish they'd also do CD editions of that stuff. But CDs are on the rise, so we may start seeing more and more of that. There are a number of CDs as part of this release, even though I haven't really gotten to them yet. Um, that's pretty cool. Garbage has Witness to Your Love EP. All right, and uh, rare and unreleased tracks, including 2008's Witness to Your Love, Never Before on Vinyl, and a cover of Susie and the Banshee's City in the Dust and More. Well, that's what that is. All right, we got uh, Jerry Garcia Band, How Sweet It Is. I know a bunch of you guys out there that are Grateful Dead fans. It is a first, so we'll get a wider release um, after this. That was an LP, but don't stipulate it a CD or cassette, just assume it's an LP that I'm talking about. Uh, we got Boston Garden getting a, an LP release, Grateful Dead. Uh, this one is an exclusive release, 9,000. Um, Boston Gardens from 77 was that. There was something else. Oh, Generation X debut album is getting an LP release. This says it's an exclusive limited edition 1LP pressing classic debut album. See, no, nothing about this thing tells me anything. This thing is, first of all, it was originally on LP. I've seen it re-released on LP. Now they're doing it this way. I don't know what makes it different than some of the other versions out there. But, you know, if you're looking for it and, and you haven't been able to get it, that's always cool. Haircut 100, <laughs> 80s new wave group, uh, 1983. Uh, I believe this is, a, and it's a first, so it's going to get a, a wider release. Live in Hammersmith, 1983 album by them. Uh, Hawkwind, The Iron Dream, live in 77. That's pretty cool. Record Store Day first, so it will get a wider release. Again, I hope all these things are going to get CD releases, but can't guarantee that, unfortunately. So, um, may have to pick these up on, on LP. All right, let me see what else we got. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, Helen Wolf has a live album in here on LP. Husker Du, Tonight Longhorn. There you go. That's pretty cool. 2LP. It's a record store day first for that one. Jesus Jones, live in Chicago, 1990. I only recently became a Jesus Jones fan. Record store day first. First ever full release concert recorded in Chicago from September of 1990. All right. Um, oh, Jet uh, Up Your Alley. I was just actually talking about that one recently. I was listening to it and enjoying it. 
uh, Billy Joel has uh, Live at the Great American Music Hall in 75. Now, I like these standalone ones. These are cool. 2LP, and it is an exclusive. Okay, we got something from Nora Jones. Live album from her on LP. Uh, Carol King, The Legendary Demos. I'm not really a fan of hers, and I know that might shock a bunch of you. But um, there is that. I do want to point these things out for you. Record Store Day exclusive. So there's that. B.B. King has Blues is King. This one is a first. So you'll be able to get that one later. Limited to 3,000 copies for this release. See, it says limited to 3,000 copies, and it's like, well, yeah, but it's as a first, and then it's gonna come out later, so it's not really limited. Um, Kitty, Until the End, if you're a fan of them. My, uh, one of my friends uh, played bass in a group called Crossbreed, and we're good friends with Kitty, and Kitty helped them get, them get signed to the Artemis Records label. So even though I don't listen to Kitty, I always have to give them props because they don't my friend's band get signed. Uh, John Lennon, Give Me Some Truth. There we go. This is uh, limited to 500. It is a 10-inch vinyl box set. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, from the, um, the best of that he had put out in 2020. Jerry Lee Lewis, Live at the Polomino Club. All right. This is an exclusive release, limited to 2,000 copies, two LP set live. Okay. Um, I know I know. so far you guys are saying, nah, there's nothing really there that I want yet. Well, hang on, there's gonna be some stuff. I guess it's just coming later in here. Uh, we got Madonna in here for you, uh, Madonna fans, American Life Mix Show Mix. Oh, nope, <laughs> album cover. I guess he's just haven't uh, popped in here yet. It is an exclusive, limited to 8,000 copies. That's, that was page three, we're on page four. Um, I've got about five things I'm looking for, uh, not to count the ones that I just mentioned that I was uh, interested in, like that uh, Duran Duran. I have to add that one to my list now. Uh, Paul McCartney's Red Rose uh, Speedway's getting an LP release. Um, Desky Martin and Wood, it's a Jungle 30th Anniversary LP. Mr. Big is getting their self-titled release on LP, maybe never done before, but it is a blue, and it's first, uh, so you'll be able to get it after this. Um, Motley Crue, the reason I was wearing the Motley Crue shirt, Helter Skelter EP, right? That's kind of cool. Unfortunately though, they keep putting these things out and there's no like unreleased material. It just has four tracks on it as the Shout of the Devil side and the Too Fast for Love side, two songs a piece on it, Helter Skelter, Red Hot, and then Live Wire piece, Your Action. I mean, it's cool to get these things if you're just collectors and you like having that stuff, but Motley Crue doesn't have a lot of rare and unreleased material, live demo, et cetera, that they've put out. I'm sure it's in the vault somewhere. Uh, we get another Motorhead, Lost Tapes, Volume 4. I really wish they'd put these out on CD. I'm kind of hoping this is Volume 4, and uh, they've been two LP sets. Maybe when we get to, like, five, we'll get a box set of it the way that they did with the uh, Fleetwood Mac one uh, last uh, time during November. They call that one Black Friday, but to me, that's still Record Store Day. This is uh, Lost Tapes Volume 4 Live in Hilbron, 1984 release. Uh, it's got Wurzel. I like him as the guitar player. I've got an EP of his. It's really, really great. Um, Larry Mullins and Mike Watt do something here together. TVI. Okay. Um, Stevie Nicks, Belladonna Live. That's really cool. Been available. It was put out. You know, it's on your CD if you bought the three CD deluxe edition, but you can get it as a two LP standalone. Quantity, uh, 10,000 copies. <laughs> Again, that just cracks me up. Okay, here's the first one that I'm super excited about because we don't get a lot of this. Rare stuff from Ted Nugent, Nuge Volt, Volume One. So the fact that it says Volume One is really cool because Hopefully, we're going to be getting more. There's 4,000 copies of it. It is an exclusive, but 4,000, that's a pretty good number. You got a really good shot at getting it. First volume of the Nuge Vault Collection features studio outtakes, rough mixes of the iconic 1976 Ted Nugent album, Free For All. I'm super excited. Discovered from personal tape archives, previously unreleased early versions. Um, wow, man, that's really cool. Here's a better picture of it. 
white vinyl too. I guess that's part of the great white buffalo, right? All right. Um, then we get off the FLSDEP. Looks like that's on a purple vinyl. It's record store day first, 2,300 copies, so you'll be able to get that one later. All right, this one's very cool for me at least. I'm going to show you the CD edition because we're, we're getting it. This one is specifically on CD. You can also get the LP of it. Pearl Jam giveaway. A live concert recorded in Australia for at the time of the album Yield. But in Australia, they don't their sign that is the Yield sign doesn't say Yield. Giveaway. So that's uh, why they call it this. And I thought that was pretty cool. 17 track collection here. Um, and as I said, it's a oh, it's a record store day first. So I guess it will get a wider release, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up on CD because I'm wondering if it will be part of a yield reissue or something. Um, but okay, if you don't get one, uh, you should be able to get a copy later on with that. So that was one of the ones that I was uh, really excited about. Pixies, uh, Do Little Live in Brussels from uh, 2009. Uh, so that's 4,000 record store day first release. I should really track down all the ones they say first and keep an eye out for them just to see what happens. Um, Porcupine Tree has something. All you Prague uh, fans out there, I know, enjoy them. Uh, this one here is IA slash WD slash XT. Uh, those of you that are uh, Porcupine Tree fans probably know exactly what that means. It is vinyl. This is limited to 800 copies. It's a limited run. Uh, it's a 12-inch of tracks pulled from um, In Absentia and Deadwig Deluxe Edition. So it's pulled from that and here, and it looks like it's got four tracks on it, but they must be really long because uh, we got uh, two on the A and two on the B there. All right, um, what else we got? We got an Elvis Presley in here, Burning Love, the RCA Rehearsals. Let's look at the, I like that they show, they're doing some bigger pictures now with the LPs and stuff out. Used to only have the ones at the top there. This is an exclusive release to 3,950 copies. Why is it not just 4,000? <laughs> Who knows? So we've got that. Um, Queensryche like Operation Mindcrime 2 LP. I don't know how many people will be excited for this, but if you're a diehard fan of Queensryche, you'll be able to get that. Keith Richards uh, Best Of Collection. Vintage Vinos, Vintage Winos, um, that's available uh, now on LP, or gonna be as part of that. Okay, um, we've got Rolling Stones, Beggar's Banquet's getting another LP release. Um, hmm. Ah, here, Sisters of Mercy, no picture, Reptile House, um, 40th anniversary of the influential mini album, Reptile House EP, which has been out of print and vinyl since 1983. Five tracks on it. It is an exclusive limited to 4,500 copies. I know my friend Anthony from Sound Exchange is going to be snapping that sucker up. Um, this was cool. MTV Unplugged from Soul Asylum. LP only. Uh, it's an exclusive. I do hope a CD version of this comes out. 3,050 copies. And again, why? Why is it not just 3,000? It just seems odd to me that they do that sometime. The complete legendary 1993 MTV Unplugged performance, newly mixed from the original tapes uh, being released here. So that's awesome. All right, I'm trying to see if I don't want to miss any of the good stuff on here. We got a bunch of Soul Jazz Records present. So if you're a jazz fan, there's a number of things on here. Uh, the specials, Work in Progress. Again, no, no picture. I don't know why I keep showing you when there's no picture of this stuff. It's a 10-inch vinyl. It's um, continuing rarities unreleased of the specials and Jerry Danmer's on 10-inch singles for re uh, Record Store Day. This new release contains two previously unreleased Work in Progress demo tracks from 1980 and 81. The special is called Work in Progress. Okay. Um, uh, the Rockfords, which was... Um, Pearl Jam offshoot, looking for his name, Mike McCready. There we go. Mike McCready and Stone Gossard have all these different things. Hard to keep them tr straight sometimes. Um, okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, this one, I've almost missed it. Ringo Starr, Stop and Smell the Roses is getting a release um, on LP and CD. Uh, these are exclusives, so you definitely want to... Um, 
snap these up. Uh, the CD is limited run to 500 copies, and I think perhaps the last one, Old Wave, was the same too. I was able to get one and saw a few afterwards. I guess there's not as many Ringo Starr fans out there, but I'm um, excited to get a hold of that. That album has been out of print and haven't been able to find it. Strawberry Alarm Clock, Incense, and Peppermints is getting an LP release. Joe Strummer and the Mescaleros. Uh, Street Court, it's a 20th anniversary edition of it. It is an exclusive. Um, T-Rex, rocking and rolling. Love T-Rex. All right, 2,000 copies. It is a first, so you're going to be able to get this later. It's an 18-track collection featuring hits and stuff on it. So I guess it's just the best of. Um, yeah, first ever repress of the classic T-Rex compilation, 18 tracks. Not that there aren't enough out there, but it's always cool to get the original ones uh, that came out back in the day. Tangerine Dream, live in Paris. That's very cool. This is an exclusive, limited to 3,000 copies. Um, 1978 tour is when that's from. All right, let's jump to the last page. All right, we've got uh, The Temptations, All Directions, getting an LP release. For those of you, I know some of you out there, Anthony's certainly a Temptations fan. Uh, the Mars Volta. Francis the Mute, 6,750 copies. It is an exclusive 12-inch vinyl. Uh, this is uh, following the re-release of the Mars Volta catalog. They're putting this out now. It's got a uh, live and acoustic track, Black Widow, on it, making that worth something. Tom Tom Club self-titled expanded edition. 5,000 copies, an exclusive release of that album there. Uh, we've got U2. This is uh, Two Hearts, <coughs> excuse me, Two Hearts Beat is One, Sunday Bloody Sunday, the War and Surrender mixes. Sure to tie in with what they're getting ready to put out. I like that. I don't know if I, if I, if again, if these were on CD, I'd be picking every one of these things up on CD. Limited edition four song EP celebrating the 40th anniversary of U2's third studio album, War. Um, Songs of Surrender. Okay, so that's that's interesting. So it's the, those two songs, but you've got the original one, and then you've got the Songs of Surrender mixed to it. So I understand what we're, we're getting at. We're getting, um, you know, because they're doing the new album where they've done new mixes of these songs on them. Uh, of all their, you know, old classic stuff. UFO. Will the Last Man Turn Out the Lights? It's getting an LP release. That's been on CD for a little while. It is an exclusive, though. Live album. All right, we got some various artist stuff. Nothing really jumps out at me as far as that's concerned. Uh, we've got the Verve Pipe Villains getting an LP release. That is a Record Store Day first. I know a bunch of you guys are Wilco fans out there. This is Cross-Eyed Strangers, an alternate Yankee Foxtrot. I like alternate albums. 4,500 copies, exclusive uh, release. Ah, here we go. I knew there was another one on here. I was like, where are all the stuff I'm interested in? Yes, live album. Uh, live at Knoxville Civic Auditorium, 6,000 copies. It's an exclusive release, three LP set. Um, this is the landmark concert from the 21 LP Progeny box set. So it's already been available on CD, which I never got the box set. Um, and this was done right after Close to the Edge, so it is from that time frame, because they didn't give a year on it, but it is that time frame. So that's very cool there. Let's see if there was anything else, or if that was it. Uh, Warren Zevin, The Wind, LP release. So there you go, and it is a first, 2,500 copies, so again, you'll be able to pick that up after the fact. So I don't know how many we co co uh, covered there, but that's a good number of uh, releases. Um, I don't know how many it is. There's a 299 rows. Some of those things had, you know, LP, cassette, and CD, so it's not 299 items. There's probably 250, somewhere between 200, 250 releases. But you can head on over to the Record Store Day website. Let me get back to the main page. There you go. Go to the main page, and at the top of it right there, you can see click. And so you can do the PDF version or the web version. I did the web version because when you do that one, 
and you go over to the right hand side where the eye is you can click that and you can get a view like i was showing you and see these things and these things do get updated they occasionally add a little bit more to it as they get closer to release date some of the ones that don't have info will get info so definitely stay on top of that again april 22nd know what you want uh, don't hesitate to call up your record stores and talk to them about whether they're going to order those things. They can't hold stuff for you, but you can certainly say, hey, I'm interested in this. Can you put this on the order? And if they get enough calls for stuff and maybe they weren't going to have it on there, they might do it. So I definitely recommend go through the list now, call your favorite record store, ask them if they are going to be ordering in your favorite items. All right, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this Record Store Day run through here for April 22nd of 2023. And hope to see you guys out there when I'm waiting in line with you. All right, everyone, take care. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.